Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. So, I got some skill points and haven't actually been spending them. So let's have a look at what we can do. We have loot sands, detect loot boxes through walls in scout mode at 50 meters, meters radius. And I unlock extra drone module slots. Well, I haven't actually used any drone modules yet, but... Ah yeah, we need two more points to unlock this one as well. But So let's get this one instead for now. And for Warrior, we only have the one, which is Runner. Dramina, uh, stamina drains slower. That's definitely useful. Alright, so let's have a look at our journal. I already upgraded all my weapon stuff and, uh, you know, repaired my, my gun and all of that stuff. Let's see. Cut off. Separatist held communications facility hidden in a remote location deep in the Caucasian mountains maintains regular communication with unidentified satellites. Your mission is to infiltrate the facility and rep reposition the satellite dishes to intercept enemy satellite signal and steal the data logs. This should provide us more intel regarding the separatist operations. Alright, cool. Let's accept this mission. You got more on the satellite comms? Yeah. JSOC wants you to redirect the broadcast signal. Manually? We've got an approximation of the plans. You'll have to reposition the radio telescopes. That it? It's no cakewalk, John. You'll have to infiltrate a heavily guarded antenna array. This is a key facility for them. They'll quickly catch on about what happened, but before they do, we'll access all of their archives. There's likely to be some chatter about Robert. All I can promise is to keep our ears open. He may not even be alive. Nah, Frank. He's too stubborn to die. Please. All right. Ears open, John. Out. All right, so as in the last video, I will be driving over to our objective and I'm going to be cutting out that part of the video because I don't think we're actually going to run into any patrols in the open world environment. So, I'll see you at the objective. I was wrong. There's a guard up in the tower, but he hasn't noticed me yet, so I'm just going to keep driving. Um, this is the same road that we were taking earlier as well. Which means that this camp, last time we were here, was empty, but it is not empty now. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Alright, let's get out here. Apparently I blocked the driver's seat. Oh yeah, I parked that very well. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, I did improve my scope and I also have a larger magazine. So what we're looking at right now is the 12 times magnification, or the times 12 magnification. Oop, did I see? Yeah, there he is. 67 meters. He's just chilling with a, with a cigarette, having a smoke. <laughs> but we might be able to sneak in there. Because I'm not sure if there are too many more people around. Oh yeah, there's one guy over there, 69 meters. Let's see if we can kill this guy without anybody else noticing. Oh, <laughs> that's the second guy. He's definitely going to notice. Yep. Did he? Wait, what? <laughs> He's looking around. I got him just in time, I think. I hear the radio, but I for, for a second there, I thought I had uh, alerted. Get down, get down oh yeah, okay, they are alerted. Yep, but well, that's fine. I guess we still have the guy in the bunker. Yep, still chilling. All right, three guys down. Let's have a quick reload. I don't. I'm not entirely sure how many bullets my magazine currently holds. Let's see, can we actually... Ah, oh, that was the button for the drone. Damn it. It's been a while since I played this game, but actually this does allow us some extra information. So we have two guys up here. We have a guy up in the tower. Actually, I, I pressed this button by accident, but it is a happy accident. Alright, so we have three guys. But no real easy way to get into the camp unnoticed, I don't think. 83 meters. Ah, 
Well, he says hit the deck, but <laughs> he's, in, he's getting seated. Interesting. Interesting decision in a in a firefight situation. Alright, so he is looking our way. He's at 55 meters. Let's switch back. Wind coming from almost directly behind us. Alright. That guy is looking the wrong way, which is good for us. I'm not going to snipe him. I'm going to see if I can interrogate him for some useful information. Ah, damn radio again. Jesus, alright. So I think it was E to interrogate and V to go for a knife kill, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, E for interrogate. Talk. Or I break you. Our resources are right there. All right, sweet. Some weird buttons for uh, for all of these uh, <laughs> for all of these commands, like you to loot a gun. Well, I, I guess it means you know you won't do it so quickly and easily, which is technically a good thing because it's a specific action, and you don't want to. Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus. Alright, well. The point I was trying to make was you won't accidentally pick up a gun instead of looting it, or looting it instead of picking it up, which which is the good thing. Wow. I'm very close to being dead. I should have been more careful entering this building, but because it was quiet, I kind of simply assumed that it was going to be... Oh, God damn it! no, wrong button. <laughs> I wanted to bring up my health menu, or at least my health items, which is Q. And then I'm not entirely sure what actually um, is the least amount of health that we can get. So I guess the adrenaline pack, ah, it's only one bar. So if we use the other one, that should do it. All right, let's continue on our way. All right, so we're getting very close now and I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to go up into that tower over here so that we can get a better view of what's going on inside the encampment. This is another mission that I remember from the open beta, by the way. But things might have changed in the meantime, and of course we are playing on a much higher difficulty. And that also means that we will have to be more careful. But what I did last time around is I circled around the right hand side of the encampment. And that seemed to work pretty well to get several angles of what's going on. So, I think I see contacts over there? No. No, I'm not. Alright. Let's see if we can get up here. A big patch has landed a few days ago as well. It was like 4.2 gigabytes or something like that. And it's apparently... Oh, we can't even get up here. But apparently it fixed the problem that people were having with save games being corrupted and being lost. Which uh, was a very, very bad thing indeed. But apparently that is not fixed. Luckily, I haven't had that problem Bring myself. The but the base. The primary target are the radio telescope. Make your way inside and reposition them to the coordinates I've uploaded to your tablet. Be All right. with your drone. If you fly too close to the dishes, their signals will interfere with its frequency. Oh, that's interesting. I like that there is an element that might mess with your ability to fly the drone around. All right, we have a fair bit of wind coming in from the left. This target is at 200 meters, but we're not going to shoot him just yet. First, let's pick up our drone and have a little fly around the base. I want to get a bit of a better idea of where our targets are located exactly. Because the main gate seems to be clear. I guess this is a secondary gate and that one is guarded. 
Looks like we have a sniper. Which is interesting because I can't see him from here. We have another guy. Oh, he's pretty well hidden, isn't he? Wow. I probably would not have found him unless I was, you know, either directly in front of him or flying around the drone like I am right now. Alright, so we have two guys down there. Other guy patrolling the middle area. Oh yeah, and there we go with the interference with the big uh, satellite issues. Alright, so we have a sniper. Apparently there's not a window here, actually. Which is interesting because how... Maybe it's not a sniper? Maybe it's a sniping position? Mm, I'm not sure. Low battery. Alright, let's return. For now. Alright, so that guy is stationary and looking our way. Which means that he is not going to be our priority target. He has his back turned to almost everybody else in the base. So he is probably the last one to die. Unless we, you know, fuck up and <laughs> make the entire base alerted to our presence, which would, would be bad. And we're going to try not to do that, but of course we're, we can only... God damn it! Slippery, slippery mountains. Jesus! Jesus! Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, <laughs> there goes my plan of sneaking through the mountains. Right, we have a little bit of wind. This guy doesn't look like he's in anyone else's patrol path. Or at least right now he isn't. So let's take him out. And yeah, there's no way we're getting back up there. Damn. That is unfortunate. The mountains in this game are very slippery and you need to stay away from the edges because Jesus. That was pretty terrible. Alright. <coughs> yeah, I was wondering if we could climb across the fence, but we can, and that's good. Right, nobody saw him go down. He's pretty far away. Alright, let's loot his body real quick, and then we're going to move it out of the way. But where to? <laughs> Everything is pretty much in sight, but occupation of the camp seems to be pretty low, and maybe, can we put him in a box? Is that an option? No. But like I said, occupation is pretty low on this side of the fence, and that means that, well, probably nobody is going to be around. Alright, that guy's at 88 meters, but again, he's not going to be our target because he's unaware. I do remember we have two guards at the bottom. We probably have, yeah, we have at least one guard up on top, but we probably have more. We can have a quick peek using the drone. Oh, need to get out of that tree. <laughs> All right, so we have our one guard on the roof there, two guards on the roof. Some interference again because I'm flying around the big satellite dish. We have another guard up here. Honestly, I feel good about our chances of keeping this low profile. And we have another guard over on the right hand side. Yeah, if we can manage to take out this guy silently, that would be a big help. The other guy is moving around left to right a little bit. Oh, we got an achievement too. Aerial Recon. Well, I can guess what that one was for. <laughs> it probably has something to do with flying around the drone, doesn't it? Alright. I see another guard moving up there. 100 meters. Again, he's not going to be our target for now. I would love to just take out the guys on the roof and make that my sniping position and then have a bit of a better look. This guy might notice people on the roof dying if they're too close though. But I'm not sure. Oh, we have a guy and we have a mortar. I wonder where he's going. 
If he's going around the corner, that might be an excellent opportunity to shoot him. I guess he's sort of out of sight of everyone else. I'll risk it. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right, these guys are closing in on my position. I need to move. There's another guy on the roof here, somewhere. Out of sight for now, but... Not, not here. Why am I st getting stuck on... Can we do anything with the laptop? No. Alright. Nothing of interest in here, for now. Ooh, there's a guy. But I wonder if it was the guy on the roof or one of the... No. It wasn't the guy on the roof. <laughs> I bet one of these guys is coming over here to investigate what he saw. And again, this is a moment where I really wish that we had a lean button that doesn't involve getting close to a wall. Alright, my silencer is almost gone for this. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm going this way. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> I was not aware of someone. Yeah, again, this is why the indicator of vision sucks really bad. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, wow. Ouch. Alright, let's do the last checkpoint. Alright, turns out the last checkpoint was in front of the base. So I decided to go up for a walk and see if I can get around it instead. And this time around, we're going to try being an actual sniper. <laughs> You know, we're going to try not to fall from the from the mountain this time. That would be that would be good. I should stay away from this edge because it's so easy, so easy to slip off. But from here, we should at least be able to clear off this roof. I hope. And again, these guys are pretty alert when it comes to people dying, so I shouldn't wait around too long. That guy's at 150, well, 169, but there is some mortar. Not seeing the guy who's supposed to operate it, though, but let's see. Let's cross this log and see if we can actually make it across the way. Oh, yeah, there, there is the guy operating the mortar, I guess, or, or at least the guy who is closest to, mor to the mortar and will most likely end up being the operator. I also saw a guy moving on the on the roof here, but he's out of sight for now. This is, of course, one of our objectives. This, this big dish, that one, and that one. We have to reposition them. Alright. So we also have a way to rappel down, which is not something we're going to do right now. 60 meters, that guy is off on the left, so he's not going to notice. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. Nobody noticed. But I do need to keep an eye out for the other guy on the roof. I'm going to want to shoot him next. When he comes back. Oh, there he is. Well, he can, he can die there too as well. Oh, 100 meters. Let's switch this off. Wind coming in my direction, which is not so bad. Alright. That should take care of the guys on the roof, I think. Then we have that guy. He's at 136 meters right now. But I don't know if he is our best target. I wonder, this guy... No, he's not going into the little cabin. It would have been nice if he did, 
because then I could have shot him while he was walking inside and it would have hidden his body for me quite neatly. Sadly, that's not the case. Ooh, right, I forgot about this guy. 120 meters, wind coming in our direction. Good target. Oh, <laughs> through the jaw and the neck and the throat, I guess. Wow. All right. Nobody notices us yet. Very pleased. Again, I wish... Ah! Oh, that was the problem. That's why it got noticed. Right. I was not aware of this guard being there, but... We could shoot him next. And then shoot him when he is turning his back. And... Hopefully that is going to clear out the mortar position. No, I'm not entirely sure. Well, guys, turn around, please. Yeah, good. Wind coming in our direction again. Coming from the left. 120 meters. Oop. Cool. That went unnoticed. This game has definitely improved a lot compared to the open beta. Oh, crap. That was too bad. That alerted this dude. And probably everyone else in the base. Which really should not happen because this guy barely had a second to react. But it did anyway. Alright, now that that guy is dead and everybody is on alert, I guess, we, sh we, we are probably going to have a pretty good target with the guy at the gate, if he pops his head back up. But actually the AI is pretty damn good at hiding, so that is not very likely to happen. These guys are patient and they know which side is which, you know, safe and not safe. So my guess is it's going to be best to try and move on, but no, <laughs> that is not possible. I guess our, our best move is going to be sliding down this rope. Not sliding down the mountain, but sliding down the rope. And I'm not sure if I actually saw a guy over there or not. I have a feeling I did see a guy there. Well, we're going to have to risk it. Be careful. Don't stick your neck out. We'll still have the high ground. So I guess we have to be over here. Yep. <coughs> All right, I'm hearing people inside. Which means probably scientists, but there might be a guard. Yeah, there's a scientist right there. Ah, it's these guys noticing me, not the... Uh... But this might attract guards, so we have to be quick. Very quick indeed. Uploading the coordinates to the first antenna. Nice work. Now find the other towers. We need all of them for this to work. Right, we're not going to kill these guys, but we are going to get the hell away from here. And somebody... oh, yeah. There's the guards coming. Wow, I should not use my... my pistol soon so much. Oh, I'm hearing more guards. Oh, Jesus. That was a kill. Time to move. Time to move. Oh, Jesus. Alright. These guys are now less aware of me. That is good. Oh, man. This game can be so tense. It's actually really cool. I really like it. These guards don't sit around on their ass. They actually move in and try to outflank you and kill you. And they're... They're pretty effective at it too. Alright. 
These guys know exactly where I am. For now. Ah, <laughs> wrong button again. Oh! Oh, that does not sound good. Ah, oh, man. I'm so quick to die, I don't want to move out and risk myself. I just want to kind of kind of want to camp the door, but of course that's not fun to watch, so I'll try to move out, but <laughs> honestly, everything in me is screaming to stay put right now and wait the AI out. Yep, Jesus. Alright, so the red indicator also moves around with the enemy AI, which is not something I'm a fan of. That definitely should not happen. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to keep my AR-15, but I'm not entirely sure how much ammo we have left. Alright, so we're going to have to be careful here. Let's see, alt, 30 rounds? Is that all that we have left? That would be very bad indeed. Alright, cool. So they're no longer aware of me, which means I'm going to move up to this wall. And I'm going to have a little peek around. Well, I do remember, of course, from the earlier drone that there was a guy over there, but I highly doubt he's still exactly in that location. Actually, you know what? Let's use the drone. Alright. Ah, we have a guy at the gate. Everybody's returning to post. It takes a while. But uh, that's that's a good thing, actually. Oh, we have a guy over there. Actually, you know what? Let's return the drone. And let's see if we can actually shoot this guy. He is still very much aware of something going on. Alright, so we have wind coming from the left slightly behind us. And I'm very tired, or out of breath. That worked. Cool. Alright, let's have a peek at the guy at the, at the gate. There he is. 70 meters. We can go back to zero. Wind coming in, and in our direction. For a second there I thought I heard footsteps behind me. Jesus. All right. So those guys are down. Let's use the drone one more time because I want to be sure there's no guys below me, which is oh crap. Which is definitely a possibility because there were two guards here at the entrance before, but they seem to have moved. Ah. There's some other guy up there. Everywhere else seems to be pretty clear though, so... For now at least. Ah, it's a scientist. Scientist noticing my drones. Alright, so that is a target and... I think the other one was further down the hill. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh man, I need to be careful here. I don't... Ah, there's a use button over there. <laughs> Almost killed myself for nothing right there. Oh, it's a radio. Jesus. That stuff freaks me out, man. Which is good. That's cool. But, uh... I need to be less paranoid, maybe. Or... Well, no. No, I don't need to be less paranoid. 
being paranoid is what keeps me alive right now. Nothing in here. Alright, let's go to our second objective. We can use this handy little bridge. It does leave us a little bit exposed, but uh, it, it will do. And that should be our last objective right there. Not seeing any movements, but there's bound to be some. Oh, oh, there's still a guy over here. Good thing he didn't notice us yet. Silence of durability is low, which is a very gamey mechanic, but I actually don't mind because if that wasn't there, then you would you would never stop using the silencer. You know, like what would be the point? Silencer depleted. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you. It's. It's just scientists, and it's an optional objective not to kill any of them, so I won't. Uploading the second set of coordinates. Excellent. You're doing a hell of a... Hold on. Shit. They're trying to cut the signal. You need to get to the mainframe and stop them. I'm setting the location now. On my way. Ah, crap. I remember this now. 108 seconds to get over there. Jesus Christ. That's definitely not enough, but... Luckily this thing is in exactly the right location, but... And this is a very bad idea. Oh, what the hell? Oh, man. This is such a bad idea. Oh, fucking hell. Oh man, I need to... I need to take some pills. Man, these guys were shooting at me through the wall. I mean, that's possible, of course, but... I did not expect that. Man, Jesus. Ah. Oh. I said I'm on it. That was too close. All right. Double time for the next dish, and let's get the fuck out of here. Whew. Jesus. I'm so glad I didn't die here because that was a distinct possibility. All right. At this point. I should probably switch to an AK. Yes. Or actually, I, I have no idea what my total is. Like, uh, 18. Yeah, it is 18. All right. Let's swip, sw swip, swap to AKs. Let's see how much do we have here. 80 rounds. Yes, that is definitely very much better. All right. Let's loot his body as well. Alright, so, now, I could go down with an elevator, but that seems like a particularly bad idea, especially since I am no longer in a rush. So, let's pick up our drone, have one last little fly around. Yeah, that it, that's the bad idea I was talking about, and um, they seem to be aware. Oh, 
Oh crap! I don't need to get killed while sniping. Oh man. I guess, I think, the only real way that we have left to go down is this elevator, which does not reassure me in the slightest. Alright, we have more scientists over here. We also have windows, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Except these guys also know to stay the fuck away from where they can be seen from the window. Jesus. So that does mean I have to go down. Everybody down. Which is not something that I want to do. I really don't. Especially on this game mode. You know? That's just spectacularly bad. Alright, so. Again, I wish there was a lean button. Ah, there, there is one guy over here. Cool. That is one less dude to deal with. I thought I saw movement, but that was just the wind. Oh man. This is pretty, pretty damn tense. And again, we only have one option here, really. But luckily we do get some cover, which is kind of... <laughs> blurring out right now. A little strange, but oh well. Oh, there's quite a bit of recoil on here as well. Oh man. Did we get all of them? I think we did. Excellent. Let's have a quick little reload. Alright. Of course, there are still guys around. So, let's have a peek. Two guys down here. None up there by the looks of it, which is reassuring. Because if they're further further away from me, we stand a pretty good chance of sniping them. And these guys are in cover. At least this guy is in cover. Decent cover too. Pretty damn decent cover actually. The other guy is inside the building. Alright. So maybe we need to go along along the right hand side here. And I guess we could blow up this thing by shooting some parts of it, but I'm not going to try that right now. I don't want to wear out the silencer on my sniper rifle after all. There he is. Hello motherfucker. Let's switch 200 meters. Wind coming in from the left, so... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it worked. Nice. I wonder where I hit him. Well, I doubt it was a headshot, but I'm glad he's dead. And again, I need to be careful with how close I'm getting to these rocks, because it's so easy to slide down. last guy was in the building somewhere, but it might not have been that building, it might be another building, but I'm going down this way. No, that's the only building. He has to be in there. Oh. There was one guy. There you are. 
Again, 100 meters, or just thereabouts. Wind coming my way, which means an easy shot. Sounds like we still have some people. And again, I need to be careful here as well. We're so close now, I don't want to die. Let's use the drone one more time. There has to be a guy around here somewhere. Yes, all right. He's actually pretty smart for staying here. I wish I could snipe him from the drone with the drone, but I can't. Just have to be aware of his position. Is there anybody in here? Doesn't look like there is. Alright, and the other guy, I just saw his icon become white, which means that he is no longer on full alert. Which also means he can come back out on patrol. Which means that he could surprise us, so we do need to be careful again. <laughs> just some green barrels. Alrighty then. We might be able to get to our objective without shooting anyone anymore. Now we can't climb this. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright. But of course we could climb this. Alright, cool. I see you. 88 meters. Getting close to 100. Wind coming in from the right. And he's dead. Another scientist. <laughs> That's all of them. Nice job, John. Take a breather, but don't slack off on me yet. We still have a lot of work ahead of us. All right, I am going to check out this building as well because maybe it might hold something useful for us. We need resources, things with which to craft bullets and the like. What was that sound? Oh, it's just a machine. Can we just loot it for scrap? Yes, we still can. For some reason, that command disappeared. I'm not entirely sure why, but... Man, they, this game seems to be very... Well, like I said, I haven't noticed any problems myself, so I don't know if anybody else is still having any problems, but there's been significant patches in, in recent times already. Especially the 4.2 gigabytes one was very, very big indeed. And if that's fixed the save game problem, well, I'm sure there's still some problems left behind, but... Uh, Alright, cool. So we got some stuff out of here. All that's left to do now is exfiltrate, which should not be too hard. I don't expect enemy reinforcements coming my way, but... Uh, well, actually... You never really know, but let's see, we just have to get out of this area. Was this vehicle here already? Because the music is very tense. I don't see anyone though, and I don't hear anyone. Alright, let's loot his body. And let's get out of here.
Oh, that was a scientist. Yeah. What are you? Are you a tree? <laughs> Your shadow on a rock. Alright. Just a weird dark patch where nothing else was. I think this is our car, actually. Conveniently parked for us. That was too close. Now do me a favor and get the hell out of there. Alright. Sniper rifle accuracy 80%. I'm getting better at this. 21 headshots, longer shots 147 meters, which is not too exciting. 6 enemy alerts, 30 kills. Yeah, alright, cool. Time to time for this mission was 47 minutes. Oh wow. Well done, John. Any chatter about Robert? It's going to take a while to sort through and decrypt data. Nothing on your brother. But we hit the mother load on a nearby train yard. There's a train yard nearby in the region. That's the one. It's being rebuilt as a major transportation hub. The Separatists are shipping something big. It's not just an arms depot for smuggled weapons extra gear? It could be. We've had chatter about Russia, Turkey, China, and Saudi Arabia redirecting shipments this way. But there's something much bigger at stake. That takes some serious financial backing. Someone is funding the Separatists as a front for a much larger endgame. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got to take out that hub. I'll turn that train yard into a junkyard. Twisted metal and matchstick railroad ties. JSOC will search the communications logs. If Robert's out there, someone's got to be talking about him. Focus on the train yard. And I'll keep an ear out here. Thanks. Out. Alright. So, that's it for this episode. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.